Hey guys, in this effect house tutorial, I want to show you how you can create a team builder effect like this. So there are some slots that are shuffling, then they stop, then you tap on an option, this option stays and the other will shuffle again until all of the slots are filled. I have created a subgraph for you, which makes it very simple to create an effect like this. So yeah, let's start. Before we start this tutorial, please make sure that you have downloaded all the assets you need to create this effect. So please go to the description of this video and click on the download link. Then you will end up here on this Dropbox page and here just click on download. After download is done, please open the folder you have just downloaded and there you will find the team building subgraph, which is very, very important. So please just drag and drop this into the assets panel of your effect house project. You can also find a graphics folder in the download, but this is just if you want to follow along the tutorial without your own graphics. So yeah, just also import all your graphics into the effect house project. After the import is done, we can start creating our scene here on the left hand side in our hierarchy panel. So we have to create some objects for this filter. So go to add object and here go to 2D and here search for screen image. It is very important that you use 2D screen images and not 3D ones because the 3D ones are not tap able. So, and now we have here our first screen image. Now I will rename this screen image to one. And yes, at the moment it is very big, so I will scale it down. So select it on the left hand side, go to the right hand side and then here change the scale. I will change it to 0 0.3. Yes, this is a good size. Now I will also change the texture of this. So go down to image and change the default texture. Texture. I will use this placeholder, so this will be the same at every object. And then I will also set down the opacity of this, so that when the team, when the character is not selected, um, that it is not fully visible. So this is my first object. I want to have it here on the left hand side, so I will change the X position to minus 230. Maybe scale it down a little bit more to 0 0.25. Yes, this looks good. Now we can just duplicate our first object here in the hierarchy panel, rename it to two, and then just change the position of it. Now it's in the middle and now just, yeah. Before we continue with this tutorial, I wanted to mention my Patreon account, where you can find a lot of Effect House and Land Studio projects, which you can just download and use it as a starting point for your own projects. Thanks to all my Patreons who already support this channel. And if you also want to become a Patreon, just go to the description of this video and yeah, follow the link. Thank you and let's continue with this tutorial. Do this step over and over again after you have the amount of objects you want to have. Um, at the moment, this subgraph is only working for up to eight items here on the screen. So please don't do eight. Um, yeah, more than eight. I will probably update this later, but at the moment, it's just working for eight items. So yeah, I will create six items now we have already four i will duplicate this again rename it change the position and one last time six this will be at x 230. so now we have set up here our slots for our team and now we can start the visual scripting. So we go to our assets panel and then search for the subgraph you have imported. It should be the team building subgraph. Just drag and drop this subgraph into the visual scripting panel. And then you can see this here. Um, we need some inputs here. We need a texture array and we also need an item array. And we also have to set the shuffle time. So let's do this. For the texture array, we have to set all our 
items we want to sh shuffle through here. I have 10 items, so it starts with zero. So I have to add up to number nine and now just drag and drop them into those slots. Or you can also just click here and then select it from the list. After we have done this, we can set up our items. You can see here it says up to eight. And yeah, we have six items. So those are the yeah, scene objects in our scene. So here also do one, two, and so on for the amount of items you have created in your scene. Five, six. Now we have also have to set the shuffle time here. At the moment it is set to zero. This is how long the effect will shuffle until it lands and we have to tap one slot. So I will set the shuffle time to two seconds and now nothing happens because we also have to start our team building effect. I will do this with a start node. So when the effect starts, also this shuffle will start but of course you can do it with video record or also with a tap on the screen or any other trigger and after we connect this start trigger with the start input of our team building subgraph you can see that the effect already starts shuffling and now we can tap on the item we want to have and the other will shuffle again so yeah this is all the magic about a team building effect here in Effect House. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. If yes, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new on this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.